I shut the door to the dorm room, wanting nothing more than to collapse onto my bed. Hey, what's up? Hey, Hana. Mai was laying on her bunk upside down, her red hair spilling over the side. Something glinted in her hands. What are you doing? I'm cutting out little blossoms, see? She held a pink cherry blossom to the ceiling. <laughs> it's so your senpai will notice you. Mm. What are you even talking about? You know, Senpai always notices the girl when she's outside, surrounded by a shower of cherry blossom petals, the wind blowing in her hair. Bingo! Your guy will definitely notice you with these. A flash of anger ripped through me. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just say them for yourself? Jared will never notice you without them. I turned on my heel and stalked out of the dorm room. Jeez! It was because of stuff like that that I thought John was trying to... No, it was stupid of me imagining it could happen in the first place. I stepped out to the front of the hop poppy hall, the crisp evening air wafting against my face and cooling my skin. A faint tinge of smoke threaded its way into my hair, reminding me of days spent cooking with my father. How stupid. Oh, hey. I have to braid a tree. I headed for the field, my stomach sinking with every step. I shouldn't have snapped at Mai. None of this was her fault. And she was being so nice to me, and I said that awful thing to her. She was never going to want me want to be my friend again. I stopped at a tree and leaned against it. The sun was rapidly setting, the night air growing colder and colder. Although I was shivering, I didn't want to go back inside. There was no way I could face Mai after what happened. What a terrible person I was. I sat down and hugged my knees, pressing my head again to my arms. I stayed that way for a long time, trying not to pay attention to what was going through my head. The wind picked up, roaring past me and whipping my hair against my skin. It was so loud I didn't hear the footsteps until they were right next to me. I looked up. Oh, it's my... My, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have snapped with you. I, I was just upset because I thought John wanted me ju to be Juliet. But it turns out he wants me to be a tree. I shouldn't have cared so much about it. I'm really just an awful person. <laughs> I guess things are okay. Ah, John. He doesn't mean anything by it. But that is something he would do. He's nice, but he can be a little clueless sometimes. Yeah, ain't that the truth? She sat next to me and wrapped my ar an arm around my shoulders. Together we huddled against the rough bark of the oak tree, so much shelter from the wind. You remember what Shane said about my hair? Mai's arms tightened around me. I've been on edge ever since. I don't know how to face them. Even when they're being nice, I'm so afraid they'll hate me. I'm sorry I'm such a coward. It's okay. <laughs> I'm a coward too. Maybe we should just approach our problems directly instead of coming at them from the side with flowers and friendship. You want to join Normal Boots Club, don't you? Yes. Well, I want to date Jared. Uh. Neither of these will happen if we keep avoiding the stuff that makes us nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want something, we should go get it. We shouldn't... Look, just because we're used to waiting for things to happen to us doesn't mean that they're always going to if we're just patient enough. Hana, if you want to join the Normal Boots Club, you have to keep moving forward. Strongly, without fear, without looking back, right? Yeah. And the same goes for you, Mai. Uh. Yeah, it does. I rested my head on Mai's shoulders, thankful that she was taller than my paltry 5'2", laying her head on my on top of my own. Yeah. I think I'm going to try harder. Nothing good came out of avoiding my problems, of me avoiding my problems and being a coward. I can't keep running away or else eventually I'm going to run out of places to go and then I'll break. If I really want to make a new life at Asagao, I have to try. Seriously? I'm going to be my best self and be myself. And I'm going to actually try. Who knows, maybe Shane will warm up to me eventually. Mai pulled me closer into a hug. Yeah! That's the spirit. Now what did you say we get inside? It's freezing. Yes, let's and Thank you, Mai. Mai smiled at me. No, thank you. Let's go.
Quickly, there's only two minutes left. Giant yellow letters ballooned on my phone's screen, blocking several falling cubes and preventing me from making more combos and deploying more troops. <laughs> Damn it, get out of the way! <laughs> a small yellow plush with a great smiley face waved with a great smiley face waved a sword in the big bad <laughs> And the big bad, a giant, came rushing out of the castle. Smiley man. So we meet again. <laughs> she gets so into it, I love it. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, you lose. Uh, no. Oops, sorry. Oh my god. Does he actually speak in Comic Sans? Ian, the brood and loose of yore, stood over my shoulder, peering at my phone. What do you want? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Should just make him sound like Sans from Undertale. Yeesh, touchy, aren't we? <laughs> what are you doing playing such a boring game anyway? Nothing. I was waiting for Maya and I was bored. To tell the truth, I was practicing. The game's similar to the one that's going to be in the tournament, right? <laughs> <laughs> you lost pretty quickly. It doesn't seem like you're any good. Oh no. He looked at my phone again and froze. I glanced back at my screen. My score was still slowly totaling, spitting over to the 100,000 range. Dang. What? Holy crap, how did you do that? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have too much fun with that. Do what? Your score. That's incredible. How long have you been playing this game? I'd never seen Ian so animated. <laughs> if you ask me, I would almost say he cared about what was happening. I guess. Two weeks, maybe? Only two weeks? <laughs> he put his hand to his chin and thought. If you're this good at this game, you might be able to learn to play the one for the tournament. What are you suggesting? That you're good. He glared at me. We both know you'd love to join the normal boots club, and they'd need someone to fill puzzle games during the tournament. You need to join the team. I gazed at him, trying to read his face. Could he be... pulling my leg? It was possible that I was actually much worse than average, and he wanted me to join the team to drag down their score. A dirty move, but I wasn't sure Ian wouldn't do it if given the chance. <sighs> Ian sighed. Look, at least give it some thought. That was impressive, and I wouldn't mind having some competition for once. He turned on his heel and ambled to his seat. Uh... What was that about? I told her what had just happened. Really? He thinks you have what it takes? That would be awesome, wouldn't it, Hana? Isn't this exactly what you wanted? I guess. Not everyone's so enthusiastic about me having about having me on the team, though. <laughs> Shane's glaring face passed through my mind. I'm sure if you proved yourself, it would be all right. What are you gonna do? Uh, I have to try, right? Even if I fail, I'm going to work hard and give it my best. Maybe I can even make Shane and the others accept me. Now it's not the time for me to sit around and wonder what else I can do. Yeah! There's my girl. Oh, Hana, you're cannibaling me through the sky like a shooting star. Bless. <laughs> and what are you going to do next? Talk to them? An image of myself going head to head with Shane flickered through my mind. Uh... Maybe not just yet. Sensing my unease, my shrugged. Well, don't worry about it too much. Ian's part of Hidden Block, after all. It wouldn't help him to have competition, and besides... <laughs> Shizuka stalked in, looking furious. Uh-oh. Turn to page 394. Uh, I don't think so, no. And that was the end of that. Dang. Finally, class was over. I gathered my bags and joined Mai as she headed to the door. Hona? Shane stood before me, sitting, shifting from, <laughs> shifting from foot to foot. Can I speak to you? A lump formed in my throat. What did he want now? Sure, my, go on ahead. If you say so. Oh, she's good. With a worried tone in her voice, my left us alone. What if he asked me to join? <sighs> Shane waved me out of the classroom and, and into a nook next to the window. <sighs> 
it came to my attention that perhaps I said something that perhaps I should not have said, and that perchance I may have possibly bothered you in some such fashion as cause my as cause of my words that I said. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, exactly. What? <laughs> I'm sorry for what I said about your hair. My heart skipped a beat. Uh, how did you know I heard that? My. She came to my room last night and tore my ear off. Oh my. My chagrin. Wait. Chagrin. Oh man, I. I. Oh, I did a word for this. Mm -hmm. Is it just chagrin or is it chagrin? 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 Whatever. Quickly turned to gratefulness. How many other girls would go to the one of the most popular guys in school and chew him out because he was mean to her friend? Especially when I wasn't even supposed to hear it. I hope you can forgive me. A weight lifted from my shoulders. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh no, I'm, I'm really happy. Thank you so much for apologizing to me. To be honest, I've been worrying about this for a while now. So, I'm glad you've changed your mind. Hmm. I didn't say that. I deflated. <laughs> Look, it's not really about you. <gasps> Am I right? Was his ex-girlfriend? Oh, in a way it is, but you can't really help that. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Never mind. Look, you have to come with me. I have a surprise. Following Shane around was not something I would particularly like to do, especially considering what just happened, but... Yeah, okay. Shane grabbed my wrist and led me down the hallway. I could probably have followed him just as well without his needing to do that, but there were worse things in the world. Before long, he wound up in front of the normal booth's club room. What is this? Without saying a word, Shane opened the door and led me in. Oh no, he's about to do it. <laughs> Inside, the entirety of Normal Boots was waiting, all along with the sullen face Ian. Oh, my. Well, looks like my work is done. Goodbye. <laughs> he rushed past me as PPG began to laugh. See you. Thanks, man. See you in the tournament. So, Hana, I bet you're wondering why Mr. Stoic brought you here. Uh... A little bit, yeah. As you know, there's a tournament that happens each year in early spring. This year, the tournament is about a month and a half. We each compete in various events. It used to be easy to win, but with Hidden Block around, things changed. We want to keep our competitive edge. Hmm. Something happened last year that made it so we no longer have someone competing in the puzzle category. Mm. I stand by my decision. <laughs> so we need to take someone to... <laughs> so we need... <laughs> ah. That sucks. So we need someone to take John's place. I don't understand. We all have different categories we're entering into, and half of us have jobs or other clubs that we're busy with. We can't exactly take more on. For example, I compete in the invention and game design category. I play retro games. I get a higher score than the other fellow by the end of that level, and that kind of thing. I play pinball in the machines the arcade provides, and it's the same thing, really. Shane does Nario Kart racing, or at least he will this year. I do completion speedruns, so I gather and accomplish everything in a game that is fast as possible. Oh. It's just as draining as it sounds. Oh, poor Gerard. We complete... Because <laughs> there's usually a continue system. Anyway. We compete in tag team 80s and 90s arcade beat em -ups. Specific, I know. And I, oh no, <laughs> I dance. <laughs> what? Dancing Revolution, I guess? I don't know. Oh, is that the theme again? But another remix? Or what is the other remix before? But I don't know. Anyway, we each have our own fields, and we can't take the time to learn a new one. So... So Ian told us how good you are at Dumby Doom's Revenge. He suggested you enter the tournament as a member of the Normal Boots Club. Really? He... Really? Why on earth would he do that? Oh. He's won that event every year he's gone to school in the district. He wants a little challenge this time around. <laughs> Just because we're rivals doesn't mean we're not friends. That's true. Anyways, we voted on whether you should join the club, and, well, long story short, we've got a shirt. Long story short, we've got a compromise. 
you enter the tournament, and if you win, you get to join the Normal Boots Club. That's... Um, if you lose, well, you don't have what it takes. What do you say? I... This was amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. This is my chance, but... I don't know. Oh, what? If I lost, didn't that mean I would lose their friendship, too? What, did you not just hear them? Whatever. I'd be a laughing stock and I'd be left alone again. That's why you gotta get good. My, You should accept. But... Where did you even come from? Don't you remember what you told me? Where did you come from? <laughs> no more giving up. Is she a figment of her imagination? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to try. Yeah. And that was how I got the opportunity to join the Normal Boots Club. If I could win my event for the tournament, I would officially join the team. If I didn't, well, if I didn't, the club would be more likely to lose the tournament, and I wouldn't get to stick around. It was scary, but if I succeeded, it would be worth it. Is Mai really mad at me? She seems fine now, but it's not my fault that the normal boots guys like me. Or is it? Everything special always happens to me. Maybe Mai's right, and there's something about this main character deal I don't understand. Why won't people just leave me and my stupid hair alone? What's the big deal? What am I supposed to do about it? There's nothing I can do, and even if I want to... Jimmy let that slip that he sleeps with stuffed animals on his bed at night. I told him about my stuffed rabbit, and we had a heart-to-heart. -heart. I never thought someone would understand what it was like, but he did. When did that- when did we have time to have a conversation? A tree? John wants me to be a tree? Does he not realize how that feels, or is he just that dumb of a boy? Also, I was listening to the radio today, and one of Luke's songs played. An actual song on an actual radio station by a guy I know. Who's Luke? <laughs> I better get concert tickets when he gets big. Really? You gonna top- why? Why? Why was that even necessary? So... I'm going to get a chance to join the Normal Boots Club. Most people would dream of an opportunity like this, but I'm just scared. I tried to play Dummy Doom today, and I couldn't do it. What if I mess up and we lose because of me? What if I tried really, really hard and I still... <sighs> what? Strategy is always? What does that even mean? How do I have ten points? The tournament isn't even up. I couldn't sleep at all that night, so when morning came, I put on my uniform and headed to class early. For once, I was eager for the mundane classroom environment. I hoped it would still, it would still my racing thoughts and help me come to my turn, come to terms with my amazingly good fortune. Therefore, I was sitting at my desk, falling slowly asleep, when a hand slammed upon its surface. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> I scooted my chair away from my desk. Shane glared at me. If you really are, if you are really competent, try that again. If you are really competing with us in the tournament, and I still can't believe that's happening, then you had better not let us down. Dang. He pulled out the chair in front of my desk and sat down. Let's talk strategy. What? What? Hmm. Do you think practice will pull you through the tournament? Well, I mean, despite knowing it was probably the wrong answer, I nodded. No. <laughs> no. Wrong. Rather than practice, you need strategy. I can hardly believe my eyes. Shane, the normally quiet, wary, barely speaking Shane, was suddenly on fire and preparing to give me a full lecture on video game strategy. Well, he does know everything you need to know about video games. Did this mean my good fortune was over, or...? Mm. Pay attention! I snapped up straight and scooted my chair to my desk. <laughs> yes, sir. Strategy isn't something you can just. Well, whoops. Strategy isn't something you can just study, and isn't something you only start thinking about when you're playing art your game. Strategy is always. What? Repeat after me. Strategy is always. 
Strategy is always. He slammed his hand on the desk again. With feeling. <laughs> Strategy is always. <laughs> yeah. Good. Do you know what this means? No. In your daily life, you can make choices willy nilly, like an absolute idiot. Or you can make smart, intelligent choices. You can make choices like a winner. Sometimes these go against what we want in a moment. Someone strategizing for a diet would have to pick not to eat a second serving, even if they want to, even if they're hungry. It's not always what you want, but it's what you've got to do. Understand? I think? Kind of? He nodded, seemingly satisfied. The more you strategize in your daily life, the better your mind will get when trying to strategize in game. Gaming isn't just fun. Gaming is life. Jesus, dude. He leaned forward, staring me down. Strategy is always. But what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Shane grabbed the bottom of his chair and scooted frantically away. His mission apparently accomplished. I don't know about that. He sat in his desk across the room, pulling his pulling out his sketch pad and drawing pencils. Then face calm as ever before, he started to draw. How was that? How was that the same Shane I've seen for all these weeks? I thought she was going to say, how was that helpful? <laughs> if he heard me, he didn't respond. I turned back to my desk, once again wide awake, Shane's words repeating in my head. Strategy is always. Oh hey, it's almost time for the flower festival. With everything happening so quickly, it felt almost like it snuck up on me. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. yeah. At least Shane wants to teach me how to do this strategy as always. What? Oh. At least Shane wants to teach me how to do this. Strategy is always. Maybe I do have a chance. Have you decided who you're taking yet? Uh. Uh. Right, I had to go with someone to the festival, but who could I ask? The only guys I knew were the members of the Normal Boots Club. Hey, that's not true. You also know some of the Hidden Block Club members. <laughs> Would they want to go with me? And which one should I go with? John was kind of caring, but I was a bit worried he cared too much about Jacques and the play to notice anything else. Hey. PBG was easy going, but something about the way he looked at me still bothered me. <laughs> Satch was mature and really smart, but he seemed hard to get close to. Or was I imagining that? He seems pretty like an easygoing guy. Honestly... If I were in her position, I would probably take Satch. <laughs> he's like the most well-rounded guy. He's actually really kind, and he's like smart. Like, come on. Then there was Shane, who, let's be honest, he hated me. He doesn't hate you. There was no way he'd say yes, but then again, he started. He had started to warm up to me. Paul of Continue popped in my <laughs> Continue? Paul of Continue popped in my head, too, but the last few times I hung around him, he caused major destruction. Paul isn't freaking jerk in this. Gerard was so caring and friendly, but I wasn't sure he was interested in me that way. Hey, shut your mouth. There was Jared too, but that would be dick move. I looked at my... I couldn't do that, could I? Well... I... <gasps> Let's pick Gerard. Try. Yeah! Yeah! Let's get that beard, bro! Oh, and that's so cute. Gerard is such a great guy. I'm sure you'll be happy with him. My? Well, go on. What? Uh -huh. Go. Go on and get your man. Yeah. You mean now? Yeah. My hit me on the back and practically shoved me towards the door. As I began to leave, my legs turning to jelly. Small pink blobs filled my vision. What? Go. My was tossing cherry blossom petals over my head. That's hilarious. Go get somebody to notice you. My. My beamed at me. Yeah. No time to talk, Hana. This is going to be your big day. You're a main character. Unless you messed up really badly, you'll definitely get a good answer. I messed up a lot, though. Not with Gerard. <gasps> Just go. With a final shove, I was out the door. Now. Where would I find him? That's a good question. Oh, I found him. <laughs> okay. 
I found Gerard in a secluded section of campus, a large map and notepad sitting out in front of him. He seemed perfectly content, and I felt bad interrupting him. Instead, I hovered around him, firmly telling myself that I was not in the least bit procrastinating. Procrastinating. After a time, he glanced up, and upon seeing me, he set aside his notepad and map. See, he's a noise hey, guy. What brings you here? Um. I faltered. I couldn't just blurt it out, could I? What are you working on? This? Well, there's a convention coming up in a week. Rumor is they're supposed to have Princess Pumpernickel, so I made a map and marked the location of every stall outlet sold IBKs. This is the most efficient route to check each one. <laughs> Staring at the lines and circles running across his notepad. <laughs> That's really complicated. It's impressive. <laughs> it's nothing really, just a habit. I nodded, and then to my utter horror, the conversation stalled. I stared at the notepad, trying desperately to appear very, very interested, mind racing to figure out a way to form the words I wanted. Mm. The tension was rising. It was getting awkward. I hadn't moved in 45 seconds. Gerard was staring at the ground, no doubt feeling my awkwardness, but he's still blushing, though. He's like, yeah. That was it. I botched it. I stretched upward, staring at the sky. Oh, you big... I'm gonna fucking kill you, Hana. <laughs> um, well, that's all, so I'll just be going. Great job, Hana. Way to completely and utterly suck as usual. I raised a trembling hand to Gerard, who looked up in Wait. alarm. Wait, Hana, before you go... I paused. Did you need something? <sighs> Gerard stared down at the notebook, fingernails rolling down the rungs. Was he... nervous? Um, so you know the flower festival is coming up. <laughs> Gerard was blushing, but it seemed his mind was made up. Heat rushed to my face as I waited for what came next. I was thinking that, uh, you know, we could go together. But only if you're interested, you know. <laughs> Gerard looked at me, eyes wide in alarm. <laughs> oh god, she's, she's, she's laughing maniacally. I couldn't help it. I started laughing helplessly. Oh no, you idiot! Jorad cast his eyes to the ground again. Aww. Yeah, I guess not, huh? No, 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 it's not that. I was just... I was going to ask you myself, but I wasn't brave enough. Jorad looked at me, questioning, wind rustling a stray hair on top of his head. Then a slow smile spread across his face. Yeah! Really? <laughs> really? If it weren't for you, we'd both end up going to the festival alone. So you'll go with me? Yeah. Of course I will. You big dumb dummy. <laughs> Gerard was beaming now. He clapped his hands together. Awesome! <laughs> we'll meet at the festival tomorrow then, right? Mm. Definitely, definitely. With the plan settled, the awkward silence crept back in our long and along our ankles. What? Whatever. Settling like fog. Be care. So awkward. Well, well, I'll see you then. Right. I turned so rapidly I stumbled over my own feet. Hana, are you alright? <laughs> I'm fine, sorry, bye. I dashed away internally screaming, awkward, awkward, awkward. But still, I had a date with Gerard, and he was the one who asked me. It seemed my feelings were reciprocated. Wait, were they? 